Hello, I'm Diksha Soni and you're watching Agribusiness News. Let's take a look at today's top news headlines. Dr. Himanshu Pathak, the new Director General of ICAR and Secretary of DARE, takes charge of his new office today. UPL Limited launches new insecticide Imagine. If Kokisan sign MOU with Department of Agriculture, Gujarat. Tafes J Farm demonstrates sustainable farming. Bear launches new project The Bear Side of Life. Tropical Agro System launches Tag Carbon. Now let's take a look at today's Agriculture General Knowledge Quiz where you can win discounted coupons of FTB Organic, which is Farmer the Brand Organic. Now, the news in detail. Dr. Himanshu Pathak, who's been appointed as the new Director General ICER, Indian Council of Agriculture Research and Secretary of Department of Agriculture Research and Education, met Krishi Jagran, Editor-in-Chief MC Dominic and Director Shiny Dominic in his new office at Krishi Bhavan in New Delhi. In his meeting, he shared that everything will move ahead as they were. When asked about the priorities on his plate, he clearly mentioned he will share his plans as and when the time comes. While talking to Mr. Dominic and Krishi Jagran's team, he mentioned about 700 KVKs across the nation that could play a big role in times to come. The senior scientist and the winner of some of the most prestigious awards despite his back-to-back -back appointments was kind enough to share his precious moments with the Krishi Jagran team and open his heart about the sector he's big plans for. We wish him all the best and ensure that KJ entire family stands with ICAR in its all initiative directed towards agriculture progress. UPL Limited organized a grand event for the launch of its new insecticide Imagine at Raipur in Chhattisgarh. Avanindra Shah, business head for India, believes that UPL is the only Indian company which is working in 133 agricultural countries of the world and is counted among the leading companies in the world. This company solves the problem of farmers with latest solutions and get high yields. If Kisan signs MOU with Department of Agriculture, Government of Gujarat, this treaty will offer IFCO Nano Urea and Drone Space services in 48k acres across 32 districts of Gujarat, especially for small and marginal farmers. Tafis J Farm Adaptive Agri Research Center in Chennai becomes successful in demonstrating sustainable farming through various soil conservation methods. Regenerative and organic farming which will help increase yield and double the farmer's income. In the view of International Day of Self-Care, Bear has recently launched a project, The Bear Side of Life. It is a relationship program that offers more than 3,000 awards to registrants. And those who are already registered can withdraw their first bonus. Users can get more benefits by buying $50 in participating products and being part of the self-care journey which will be fully developed through the program platform. Farmanaut has been at the forefront of providing satellite data directly to the farmers through its platforms and has monitored lakhs of hectares of farmlands nationally and internationally. Farmanaut's Ankuromer talked about the challenges in convincing farmers to implement such new age technologies and Omer also reveals details about the company's recent partnership in Uzbekistan and Australia. Tropical Agrosystem India Private Limited Manufacturing Nanotechnology and Biological Products has introduced a new biological product Tag Carp N for the farmers. This product Tag Carp N is a complete organic product. It contains 25% organic carbon and 6% organic nitrogen. This product will give an opportunity to the farmers to increase their incomes. Tag carbon contains a unique protein and a complete blend of primary and secondary nutrients and micronutrients. New Holland Agriculture, a brand of CNH Industrial, has taken the highest number of awards at the third edition of Indian Tractor of the Year 2022. 
New Holland has received best tractors in the 4650 HP, all-rounder plus and in the post-harvest solution of the year. For the New Holland Square, Baylor BC5060 and the best CSR initiative for their innovative projects on the preservation of crop stubble, residue burning and straw management. Arun Raste and Kapil Dev from the Commodity Exchange NCDEX met Professor Ramesh Chand, member of Niti Aayog, and had a discussion on how farmers can use the derivatives markets more effectively for increasing their price realization and better price risk management. Center has saved more than 76,000 crores after wheat procurement fell short for target this year, which the finance ministry can utilize in meeting other demands such as additional subsidiary burden on fertilizers or likely extension of the free food grain scheme for the whole year. Kolkata raw jute prices have dropped around 5 to 7%. Over the last month, on the estimated rise in the production and goods, prices were currently ruling at around 6200 rupees a quintal against 6500 a month ago. Himachal government has decided that a subsidy of 6% on goods and tax services (GST) would be made available through Horticulture Department and HPMC to all the orchardists in the state who had purchased apple boxes and trays after April 1 this year. Krishit Jagran conducted Farmer the Journalist Odisha training session in association with Agri-Journalist Association of India, which is called Ajay. And to tell you more about this session, Krishit Jagran trains the farmers about how to cover the stories and how to be a great journalist. 1988 Batch Indian Information Service Officer Satendra Prakash has been appointed as the new Principal Director of the Press Information Bureau. Which organization is in the charge of procurement, distribution and storage of India's food grain production? A. Ministry of Agriculture B. Food Corporation of India C. Nafed D. Trifet. Do let us know your answers on the number 8800023204. We'll wait for your answers. Till then, keep watching Krishi Jagran Agribusiness. Thank you.